Our Lord has the Emperor under his thumb, yet he makes no move. And the first thing he does is give land to the peasants. Lord Cao Cao has given fields to me and the men of Qing province. Well, I'm sure our Lord will remember to collect his taxes. He's using the old carrot and stick to keep them all firmly in line. He seeks a land where everyone will know the value of hard work, you mean. So, that's what our Lord wants after the war, you think? <laughs> Dian Wei. I think you know him better than anyone these days. You mean, we're making a land where every man has to feed himself? Yeah! Then, you need to learn how to plow a field, too. I'll teach you. Uh, yeah, some other time. Everyone has to pitch in! Come on! But... but I'm a... I'm a warrior! <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man! Put your back into it! <laughs> With the Emperor under his control, Cao Cao sent a clear message of his intent to rule the land. However, many battles yet stood between him and total domination. In Hebei, Yuan Shao had gathered a massive army to further his own ambitions. Additionally, Yuan Shu had obtained the legendary Imperial Seal and used its authority to declare himself emperor. These two powerful opponents bided their time waiting for an opportunity to strike against Cao Cao. Furthermore, numerous warlords began circling the emperor like a pack of hungry wolves waiting to pounce. It was then that Cao Cao found himself embroiled in a heated battle. His opponent was Zhang Xiao, who hailed from the land of Wan. With a mighty Dian Wei on his side, Cao Cao was confident of his advantage going into battle. Say. Take out the commander and the rest will fall. With that warrior by his side. <sighs> There's nothing more we can do. You? You would abandon me? Well, if it truly bothers you, I suppose you could always surrender. What? Oh, yes. If you are going to surrender, make sure you do it humbly. <laughs> I am relieved my surrender was accepted. You have my gratitude, my lord. This is a modest little banquet we're having, but you're welcome to join us. So you're Cao Cao's bodyguard. I must say, you look pretty tough. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> so scary. Perhaps my compliment offended you. The war is over. Come. Let us enjoy this fine banquet in celebration. You want something, friend? I don't trust that Jia Shu. He's just got one of those suspicious faces. Eat up! Eat up! This is a special treat. Look at him. He's so rugged and manly. Oh, you didn't hear that, did you? You used to serve Zhang Miao, didn't you, my lord? 
Who was a better ruler, him or Lord Cao Cao? Hmm. I did not expect him to surrender so easily. Hardly anybody is allowed inside the castle. Not even Sha Ho Duen or Shu Chu are here. Even Uncle is without his weapon. I hope nothing bad happens. I feel bad eating this when our allies outside are starving. In here. Forgive me. We do not have enough food for all of the rank-and-file soldiers. While we would have liked to have invited everybody, the war has stretched our provisions to the limit. I see. In that case, I will wait outside as well. Mm. Lord Joshu has given the sign. Launch the attack! Kill them all! What's going on? I'll do it. Yen Wei, are you here? My lord. Fight me now, for glory. Never thought I'd encounter such a great war. in line. Fire! That Weasel Jung show was breaking it! This trickery is Joshu's doing. Dian Wei, you must escape at once. I will keep you safe no matter what, my lord. Focus. The enemy is bound to have more of its 